Basically, yesterday, Philip DeFranco was streaming. He got crazy views yesterday. 50,000 people watching Philip DeFranco yesterday. And then Hila and Ethan were streaming, of course. And I guess Phil and Ethan talk on the phone. I thought they were beefing, but I guess they're not beefing. So let's check it out. Uh, can so Ethan call into Phil Fuck. DeFranco? <laughs> Pray, but, uh, I, I don't know. Will he answer? Uh, I can try. Here, no. <laughs> You're just gonna just call him. Leave, leave yeah. Don't Phil do that. Alone. I could try calling. No, text him. I mean, it's probably on mute since he's busy. Yeah. Yeah. This, guy, this guy he's calling it. into is just a mess. I feel, I feel bad like for him. What? Be a nice way to cheer him up. Why did you say that? No, like he's emotionally distraught. Like you can well, tell. Well, even everybody. Well, I feel like you coming across that way a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You seem so I'm connecting with that right now. Let's hear him out. I know. I heard Trevi. I heard that too. Hassan had 300,000 people watching. I saw that he had 150,000 people watching, which is crazy. You know? Oh my gosh. But yeah, like so interesting. Like people were tuned in. People were tuned in. You know, we 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 really I mean, gosh, we all were, I guess. Okay, here we go. You just oh, bring it in. Also, he's pretty oh, pulled together. <laughs> this is the part of the stream where we're supposed to turn on each other. <laughs> should I call him? <laughs> no. No, text him first. I told I you flat out no. What is Loves it? Loves as I should. Don't so call what, him. I saw someone nice in chat. What's the worst that happens? Hold you on. can I text, saw... you can text. Look at the way they're like on air like should we just like crash Philip DeFranco's show? <laughs> I saw know. someone in chat say that he was watching us for a bit. Yeah. Oh. oh He's really? our friend. Ethan can call his friend. Just he, cold he, call he is sometimes not... jarring. Yeah. Right. You're not his friend. You never hiked with him. Okay, I'm gonna call Phil. <laughs> Just call. Oh him. gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Well, he's Love wants a moment on stream. He's like, make this moment happen. His phone. <laughs> He's got it muted. He's got it like, not disturbed. It's DB. Frank calling Call the one other more time. Sleeper. One more time. Yeah. It, 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 it. Oh, once they don't. Oh, I know. That does not, that does. I don't want to be. I don't know why I'm kind of happy that Phil and Ethan mended their bridge. Because you remember when Ethan was talking about Phil's body and Philip DeFranco was like, do not talk about my body because Philip DeFranco has an eating disorder. I'm um, from my understanding, as does Hassan from my understanding. And so I'm very empathetic to that situation because that must be really difficult. Boys experience issues too. Anyways, so I remember that falling out. I didn't know they repaired the bridge after that. Be disturbed. <laughs> Leave Wait, that I feel bad about. No, do not disturb just means that if it's important, call twice. Which this is not. <laughs> okay, I'll call again. This is not important. Stop. No, I'll don't call do again. It, don't I'll call again. It. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, it's freaking. Oh, it works. Oh, I don't want to watch her. I'm so scared. Well, let's oh my see. God. We're at the sleepover. We have the live shot, although it's probably on a bit of a delay. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, buddy, should I put you on a... Oh, oh. <laughs> I told Philip you. Philip DeFranco. <laughs> How are you? Wait, should I put you on a uh, speaker? Sure, yeah, you're on, you're on, yeah. you're on our show. I, I should have led okay. with that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, please. Oh, please. Just call a man. Just call. <laughs> All right, one second. I called twice too. I don't know if you noticed, but the first time it went to oh, voicemail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I forced my way through. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have an H3 calling in. Uh, he said he was a time uh, watcher, long time fan, first time caller. Wow. Yeah, true. Yeah, so uh, thanks for calling in. What did you want to ask? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know if we're going on that hike, apparently. I do. I'm oh, going to. I'm oh down my to do it. I want to hike. <laughs> Okay, this is how you know YouTubers aren't really friends because when they hear from each other, they act like it's the first time they've heard from each other. This is what I'm saying. Like, people are friends, but they're not like besties. You can obviously tell it's been a while since they've probably like had this conversation or maybe it's like a surprise. I don't even know. But like, how close are you going to be to be this? Ex it's cute, though. It's cute. We like to see it. I feel this way, too, when people call into my stream. I'm like, oh, hello. But like, it's because we never talk. That's why it's funny. You know, <laughs> are you coming to me or am I coming to you? Oh. Cute. Uh, I'll come to you, or we should wow, we should just meet. Man. We can meet out on the trails. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I know you want to. I know you want to like possibly film it. No, I don't. I don't. Just... No, it can be just us. Oh, wow. And uh, and I'll tell you all the ways <laughs> that you're wrong and I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. You know. Trump is Trump is gonna win, and that's very sad. But I'm glad we were able to provide some level of you know victory for the people yeah this yeah. is a victory for the people it's that's how i feel for the, oh so you, the, the trump presidency you mean no oh. our hiking, man. <laughs> no, I, thought he, I thought he meant the trump presidency and i was like so confused i thought he was memeing i didn't expect to turn that fast from you yeah trump is taking it i yeah i'm surprised how how hard he's taking it
Are you? Uh, well, I mean, are you? Uh, I, I was just, I was just scrubbing through a lot of the different streamers. It sounded, it sounded like uh, the Young Turks were, were talking about still uh, a potential uh, Red Mirage. Uh, Hassan and the guest were getting very angry about, or no, 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 no. They were, they were talking about Harris, and uh, Hassan's guest was talking about uh, uh, the, the whole no, uh, no convention and stuff like that. But anyway. It's, uh, it's uh, interesting. Can we storm the Capitol? Are you pro uh, uh -oh. violent? No, no, I'm not pro storming the Capitol. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, see where we're at, and then uh, and and uh, move forward in life accordingly. All right. Well, we'll start with tomorrow, and then we'll uh, we'll take it from there. But let's meet on the trails. We'll talk. We'll talk after can, this evening. Hey, Ethan, can you tell uh, Phil I've been a fan Honestly, since 2009? I get a lot of backlash for even answering this call. In which case, I don't know this man. I am a, a yeah. I don't know if you know this, but I am pro genocide. Oh no, no from stop! The, by oh, the fact God, of being. Why are you bringing whatever? Stop! You I, I feel like I try to go out of my way to not know what's happening with anyone else in this space. And then my team brings me a story, and then I talk about it. I just, I don't have. I'm, I'm, I'm I've, I've been. I've been two shows away from quitting the internet for fucking two years. I don't. I don't want to deal with whatever's going on. Well, because. you just co-signed genocide, so. No. I think it's like. I think it's just a joke. They're saying, "Why does Ela find that funny?" I think it's just a joke. I think it's just like. They're making cringy like jokes because Ethan has such a strong stance, and Phil's really good at like staying out of it. And so it's like, Phil's like, why'd you bring that up? And like, Ethan like loves to drag everybody into like his little mess. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if you knew this about me, Phil, but uh, I'm Jewish. <laughs> I was about to hang up on you, but I can't hang up on you. <laughs> <laughs> he can't hang up now because that'd be so funny. Actually, Phil, I'm Jewish. Click. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty controversial, but apparently I. Yeah, I could go into detail. Do you want to? We can. We. I could go into all no. the detail. Okay. It sounds like you want to get into it. It sounds like you want to get into it. No, no, no. no. thank you. It's, thank you for answering. See, Dan was like, "Don't call Phil. Don't bring Phil into your mess, Ethan." Ethan's like, "Hey, Phil, do you want some of what I got?" No. Conversations and get my dumb face on uh, on, on your uh, subreddit and the snark reddit and uh, all that stuff. So. I'm gonna hop off. Oh God, you know, Phil! Uh, you know about H3 Snark, okay? Run, Phil, run! It goes far and wide. Oh, you know, every now and then I get I get mentioned. Oh really? What? Why do they go for you? What? Are they or do they, they like you? They didn't like that you uh, the, the the stuff about my weight back in the day. No? Oh, oh, see the stuff about Phil's weight. Oh, oh okay. wow! Cool. They those okay. people have been around. Okay. Yeah. I don't know anything about anything. I'm just I'm just an innocent bystander. Okay, I gotta go. Uh, you regret uh, answering? No, I don't regret answering. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was unexpected. It's weird that we've... Have we ever... I was like, have we ever talked? Yeah. Other than, like, see? The, see? See? See all these... See these YouTube friendships? He's like, have we ever, like, talked? No. I want you guys to process this. That, yes, the best way to get famous and boost up your... Like Kelly Stamp said earlier, is to collab and clout chase together but the dilemma is like people get crazy with like we're friends we're friends we're friends um like everyone's friendly everyone's friendly okay uh, the thing i don't know There's we like must have when you were remember when we were sh uh, sharing our office uh, a long time ago i think we must have talked on the phone there office. yeah and, and encino remember you needed a space oh you let me shoot there one day yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought it was more than one day, but um, okay. I think it was that. Anyway, uh, uh oh. All right, be good. This is the most awkward conversation I've ever heard. I think Bryson said it earlier in chat that it's like two coworkers like running into each other. That's how it feels. I'm getting, I'm getting a crazy chat. Okay, be this good, be good. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right, bye. Philly, wow. shout out. What is Philly shout Nothing out? gets me excited like seeing <laughs> Philip DeFranco's <laughs> chat. Um, Call me El Zionist Nazi, Free Palestine. Yeah. Wow, Ethan. Ethan, you can migrate to Israel. Wait, I thought you didn't want that. Make up your mind. Do I you... thought they wanted people out of Israel. Yeah, do you want oh, the no. Jews there or do you want them out? Uh, yeah, so there it is. Pro-Zionist. 
Crazy. Word. I, that's why when when Ethan was like, we want to we want Dr. Kirk Honda to call into the show. And I was like, no, save Dr. Kirk, save Dr. Kirk. Now that I don't think he's an adult and he can't pick and choose like who he talks to. But I almost want him to stay away from Ethan because Ethan is just like, it's so toxic once you get involved with Ethan. And I was like, save Dr. Kirk Honda from Ethan. Not that Ethan would be the problem necessarily, but kind of like Ethan drags everybody into the drama. And I'm like, no, please don't do it. Now AP's called it, so... He regrets um, answering that. Yeah, I don't yeah. think so. Well, he, he was sweating. Like he was sweating. <laughs> he, he was sweating, but let's We're gonna hope hide. he remembers uh, the good part. We're gonna see how that. Yeah, there was a lot of good parts. Uh, yeah, there was highs. There was highs during that, like a movie. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Everyone be nice to old Philip. Phil's a good guy. Phil did nothing. Phil's innocent. Yeah. Yeah. Although he didn't call me a Zionist and tell me to go back to Poland, <laughs> which <laughs> might enrage some people. I can't believe you didn't tell that Jew to go back to Poland, Phil. Are we done? Is this it? Is this what you wanted me to watch? Are we done? No, 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 no. no Keep no, going? No. Oh, no. God. No, 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 no. Oh, no. God. <laughs> no. Literally. It's already a depressing night. <laughs> yeah, well, so then this is the perfect time all, to do it. No. All I'm willing to watch is silly. Mm -hmm. Like brain numbing stuff right now. Is that not me? It'll be brain numbing, probably. Yeah, brain numbing. <laughs> yeah. But silly. But si not silly. I it can be, be silly, silly and do it. No. Not on. Hey, guys. Trump just jumped to 91%. I mean, th 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 this whole <sighs> needle thing is done. It's done. What's going on, guys? What happened? Everyone killed so the mood, bro, with your antics. We're depressed. How the fuck did I kill the mood? Bruh. Bruh. What the fuck did I do? You killed the mood. Yeah. Why? How? But with your calling Phil and bringing what? up the That was fucking awesome. It was fine. How did, that, how did calling Phil ruin the mood? I'm t you Dude, asked, I answered. I just know. How, then? It'll you be, explain how. It'll be clipped, and, and, and I know it'll be clipped. Clipped in Wait, what you guys way? Are you serious? Clipped I, in what way? In just, I... It, Sometimes ironic jokes in out of context. What did I say that could even be taken out of context? What can you do? We can't live know, our lives based on how clips will be clipped. I know. I thought it was a fun call. Yeah, what the fuck? What, what's happening? What am I doing? What is this world we're living in? What's happening right now? <laughs> they said Donald they were going to go. Whoa, is the team actually trying to push back for fucking once? Like, I'm, you I'm asked, so dude. Upset. You asked. But what happened? Tell me how. So I told you, already. Tell me how. I told you. Tell me how. Because I, I don't understand how. Is he serious? Well, I, don't, I don't have a way to get through to you then. What is happening? Oh my god, they're like for real fighting right now. Ethan switches, bro. Like, how does he not understand the pressure and the awkwardness he's putting his team through? Oh my god, he got mad. Did you see his face? Oh my god. I wasn't. I, I got I think other people. I got nothing for you. Come on, you can't call me out like that and not say why. That seems a little crazy. I think we can just call it the show. Honestly, everybody's just depressed. What's yeah. happening? I'm so sad. I didn't fucking make him lose, okay? I know. <laughs> I voted for her. Yeah, no, I don't blame I you know. for that. Well, it sounds like you're mad or, I mean, <laughs> angry at me for some reason that I don't understand. Okay, you know how Ethan's brother has uh, is autistic? What if Ethan also... I just feel like he has such an... Uh, uh, like, something, like... I, obviously, he's neurodivergent in different ways. Like, I think, like, he's ADHD, right? Is that right? But, like, he... He does this thing with his brain where I'm like, do you really not understand the social situation? Like, do you, are you really like not understanding the social situation? What is happening? What is happening? Then you are. I'm not angry at you. I said you killed the mood. I, there's just no depressed shot. That now. call was awesome. I, that didn't, I didn't feel awesome coming off that call. <laughs> Why? I'm just telling you. Was that because, call awesome? Because it turned into you just complaining about his chat. Everybody, like they fucking hate you and they're spamming it or whatever. He brought and, it up. And you, I, that, he Ethan, brought it up. I'm just, I'm not telling you oh, that oh. it's your fault. I'm saying that call ruined the mood. Not my mood. <laughs> my vibes are immaculate. <laughs> are they? Yo, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 it's, it's like a family dinner, bro. And it is tense. Oh, my God. I think my butt just cramped. I'm so tense right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll just sit here quietly. <laughs> Okay, well, this arguing with you is bringing up my mood a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this dude, that's... Because I always love real. Does Dan, this... you fuck! <laughs> <laughs> right. You coward! That call was awesome, wasn't it, love? For the most part. Yeah, for yeah, for the most part, it was good. Yeah. Yeah. He answered, we're gonna do a hike. Zach, that was great, right? Yeah. <laughs> you strong, just don't... St strong start. <laughs> <laughs> Should I call Oliver? Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. Have they been drinking? Are they all drunk? Are they all high? Because maybe that's impairing people. I'm not. I didn't even drink, by the way. I hated. Oh, dude, you guys. He didn't even drink. He's sober. That call was awesome. What do you want to do? I'll just sit here. I'll just sit here. Call Gabe. <laughs> hmm. That could be good. Or not. Okay, wait, chat, are you trolling? You said, man, I'm just on Ethan's side, honestly. He's being so toxic. Are you for real? Right? Are you joking? Are you trolling me, chat? Please tell me you're trolling me. He's literally being so unprofessional. He's literally emotionally snapping at people. He can't read the social situation. You know what I mean? Like, he's literally being inappropriate, just like socially. Like, this is so inappropriate, right? Like, he's he's the boss. He should be understanding this, his... His workers are uncomfortable. He should be moving them in a positive direction. But he's getting defensive. Like, what did I do? What do you mean? What do you do? You called Phil. You you got him off, caught him off guard. You brought up, you're very controversial. You made a genocide joke during a political stream during an election that is very emotionally hard on people. What do you mean? What did I do? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, come on. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, genuinely, I think he should go to a, a therapist and see if he's misunderstanding social situations. Are we going to his party? We're pl we are planning a party for him. People mm -hmm. have been wondering. I'm going. We're going. A couple of we, we're, we're doing Gabe birthday plans for sure. Yeah. I guess I'll pull up the map and be like, oh, man. Looks How like, you doing? Looks like w Trump's in the lead. <laughs> I just perma banned someone for the first time ever. No way. Yeah, I've seen this guy, Hello Tar or nothing. His name is nothing. Um, <laughs> He's nothing. Listen, yeah. We don't have to do name him, but he all, throughout the stream, I've seen him. Love, shut up. You what? don't even. You wasn't even born here. <laughs> what? 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 The what? And now he did it one more time. I think I know who was doing that. Skip mm -hmm. ahead a bit. I'm ready. So pay for yourself. It's in life right now. Uh, election is beat Silent Hill for like an hour. Then there's his live stream. Uh, this is scarier now. It might be <laughs> Just to bring the mood down a little. Oh. <laughs> By the way. Just to bring the mood down a little bit. Oh, God. I mean, I think it's fucking rich for you guys to yell at me. <gasps> you don't know what it's like to go. Oh, my God. 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 No, Ethan. Uh, we're watching. Ethan, this is, he's 40 years old. This is so inappropriate. This is so inappropriate. Oh, my God. No, Ethan. Uh, stop. Okay, breathe. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. I mean, I think it's fucking rich for you guys to yell at me. You don't know what it's like to go anywhere in the internet and be called a fucking Zionist Nazi. Nobody yelled at you. But you I'm saying, yelling. like, it's you so easy yelling. for you guys to be like, oh, you brought the fucking mood down, dude. Like, you're not the one who's being paraded on every corner of the internet being called a Nazi. Unironically. So it's not exactly the fucking like chillest thing that I'll just ignore when I see. All right, fair enough. Well, it's fucked. His chat was saying that. That's, yeah, that was fucked up. And that's why he got a little cautious too, because he was like, "Oh shit, am I getting myself into hot water?" And once again, let me remind you Which guys is... that the extent of my fucking Israel, uh, my my Nazism is that I'm fucking Jewish, and like that I don't think Israelis should be murdered. Like today, I had to tell <laughs> when I was taking pictures with with Tati, and we're damn. Yeah, that's so interesting. Like, he's he just doesn't get it. Like, I get it, but he is victimizing himself. I always say Ethan makes it all about himself. Like, he just does this thing. I genuinely wonder how long before his team quits on him. This is a hostile work environment. It, I could not. Like, I would struggle coming into work every day if this was the back and forth with my boss. I don't think they're friends, right? Like, I don't think they're, like, friends, and look, my heart goes out to Ethan. I think he deserves compassion. He should go to a therapist. I just think it's very unethical and immoral to take it out on your on your friends, family, and work environment. Like, remember, like these are his employees. And even if it was his his um his friends or family, it's inappropriate, right? Right? It is. It's super. And this can happen to any one of us. It's a very normal reaction. You feel like you're being piled. This is not unique to Ethan. This is a human experience. I guarantee anyone could feel this way and might make similar decisions if they're not regulated. This is why I say don't talk when you're dysregulated. If you can help it, because you will say things that aren't what you mean regulated. And Ethan hasn't felt regulated since October 7th. 
He's felt disre- dysregulated since then, like in different ways. Like he's felt in and out of his emotions. He feels very like not grounded and centered. And because he doesn't cover politics for a living, it's hard for people to understand, right? Like, um, like when you're Hassan and you cover these topics every day, you become slightly desensitized and you can kind of talk about it without taking it too personal, which is good and bad in different ways, right? Like it's, it is good and bad in different ways. But I think that's what Ethan isn't able to do. He's not able not to, he has to internalize the Nazi stuff, but he acts like Ethan or, or Hassan and other people don't have this. He acts like he's the only person who has this happen. Remember when a couple years ago, I was all over Destiny's Reddit because people called me a Nazi and they made all these Nazi memes about me, which by the way, some of them were pretty funny, but also I'm a Syrian. Like, yeah, do you remember that? It happens. Like groups on the internet hate you. They call you a Nazi. They make memes about you. You get over it and it's stressful. Don't don't even I, w- I was stressed, but I knew it wasn't true. And I knew it was a part of being on the Internet. It's like Ethan lives in an 11 million dollar mansion or a house and hasn't figured out how have you been on the Internet this long and you haven't figured out this is the Internet. This is what happens. That's what I don't understand about these big content creators. Like what? Just take work off for a month. Like take work off. The rest of us have to come to work. Like we can't take off work for a month. You have so much money. Take time off, you know, but it's not that it's not stressful. It is stressful. Go to therapy, take time off, but see how he's like, I have to show up. I have to fight. You don't fight people who are calling you a Nazi. If you don't believe you're a Nazi, you can't fight people like that. You know, it's just crazy. It's just crazy that Ethan isn't being, let's go. Let's introspect Ethan. Let's think about things. He's not doing it. We're planning to po- both post it and do like collab posts and stuff. And I had a moment that I realized I should tell her like, oh, you know that like, is it okay for you? Are you going to be okay posting with me? Because you know that that's going to be like a lot of shit for you just being with me. And I mean, she was like, I mean, that's a good thing to say to Tati. I mean, I've had that happen where I've been with YouTubers and they're like, hey, are you sure you want a picture with me? I'm kind of controversial. It's like, oh, I never thought about it that way. Gosh, I don't even remember their names now. That's not a bit important. But like you think about it and you're like, oh, yeah, like. That's nice that she said that to Tati because Tati's pretty like away from politics. She's a makeup. She's talking about Tati, the makeup artist, right? Like, that's really nice that she offered that to her because that would be difficult to be associated with her because they're political, right? That's the thing with politics is like, it can be hard socially. Hell yeah. But good. But that's a conversation that we need to have now with anybody that interacts with us. Yep. Are you okay being next to me in a picture? (laughs) Literally. Yeah. I mean, it's even for me. Yeah. It's even for me like that. So there it is. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? The vibes are not good anywhere. Let's just call Oliver. Yeah, let me call him. We are here for vibes. He doesn't usually pick up the vibes, but (laughs) it might be funny. I think he's he's always in like Serbia or some dumb weird fucking place. (laughs) Serbia's a great place. No, oh, you're right. It's, I shouldn't say dumb and weird, but like he's always off doing some weird shit. <laughs> yes. Like, why are you in Serbia? Yeah. yeah. Not that Serbia isn't awesome. I mean, you know? we know why. Shout he's out to over our there. Serbian fans. We know why he's over there. Okay, hold on. Chat says, I think it's because I think I get it because I think honestly, Ethan is felt like his team hasn't supported him enough during the crusade where he has been attacked and vilified over very tame comments. That's insane. Ethan's Ethan's employees, his team has backed him without any pushback basically the whole time, like very little pushback, right? Let's see, while still being on the side of Palestine, like Ethan isn't pro-Palestine. We have got to stop that narrative. This is not what being pro-Palestine looks like. So just FYI, okay? You said, so it's coming out of, it's coming out in a very inappropriate way because he has unresolved feelings about how his team supported him through it, which he should talk to them privately, but they, his team, how could they be more supportive? How could his team suck his dick any fucking harder? Like how? And he's not pro-Palestine. He is. He's pro-Palestine, the liberal, the way liberals say they don't see color. (laughs) Okay. Okay. He thinks they're not supportive. He needs to go to fucking therapy. If he thinks his team isn't being supportive, they're literally sucking his dick, bro. Okay, no offense. Peace and love. Cheap labor. Sex tourism. <laughs> <laughs> that and cheap labor, probably. Cheap labor. Probably. Yeah. Let me call. Please leave your message for. Damn. That means call again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. We've learned call again. Is there more to this? Do you guys want me to keep watching? Yeah. <laughs> I'll call again. 
Does he get more angry? Careful with the voicemail. By the way, please leave your message. It, it, it's just that built-in feature that you can call again. I didn't know. Is that. insane. That should not be a thing. Why? Anyone? It's don't cycle, do not disturb. Anyone psycho enough to call twice? It has to be important. You think or, so? It's you. Or I, what I just did to Phil. <laughs> yeah. Someone said call Jimmy. <laughs> there you go. That would be the perfect. You think that he'd is... answer? Do you think he would answer? Probably not, to be honest. Wait, yeah, he, Jimmy Lee. Oh, Jimmy Lee. Of he's course like, he will answer. No, I don't know. It's, it's different this time. He will always answer. Especially if you're live. I don't think so. I'm not going to, by the way. But I'm just saying it's different this time. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. But he, he cares about being famous above anything. True. Well, we can put that to the test. No. He's about to lose everything. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Play chestnuts, maybe, to, uh, Zach? Call Tom, they're saying. Is that it? Let's see. That sense, though, right? It's going to be more insane than... Or, I mean, well... It's Bro, this was like World War II. Okay, we're done, right? That's it? Okay. I think, with peace and love... This is where therapy would really help. Maybe Dr. Kirkonda could help Ethan, honestly. But that's the thing is like Ethan, I don't think wants to like, this is the thing that I find so interesting is like, do you ever watch your streams back? I wonder if, oh, actually, oh, actually, wait a second, guys. I edit my clips, like I edit my stuff. So I have to watch myself back and I can look at myself and I have time to think about what I said. I'm like, oh man, I gotta like, I gotta do that better. Or like, you'll see me all the time. Like today I had a bubble pop about my language and the words I use. Oh, I wonder if Ethan, cause he doesn't have to edit anything. He never watches himself back. So he doesn't see, maybe he's not seeing himself. Yeah, because I do watch my videos back. I try to like look for editing mistakes or something, but that makes me, I have to watch myself. And then I'm like, oh, I could definitely do stuff different. Okay, so maybe that makes sense. Interesting, yeah. I think that maybe is playing a part now. I wonder if Ethan ever ponders or watches himself snap at Dan and then thinks like, hey, you're making this really awkward. And you got to figure out why you're doing that. Chet says they could be more supportive if they directly said they agree with 100% with Ethan. Well, that's not being supportive. Being supportive doesn't mean I agree with you 100%. But okay. I'm just saying Ethan's perspective. I'm not saying this is what I believe. Okay, fair. I just think, I, I just think that that's also kind of toxic of somebody to need like 100% support. Because at the end of the day, like I, I just think that's unfair for people who are diverse and different than you. Right? Because, like, what if AB is sitting here with Lena, his wife, his, her own family had to leave Lebanon, and then you expect them to have the same opinion as Ethan on the whole controversy? Like, I think it's effed up when Ethan's like, AB, AB, can you, do you want to say something? And then he's like, oh, I know it's hard, AB, you don't have to say anything. It's, like, not very fair, right, that AB and Lena are put in this, like, really toxic situation at work, and it's a really good job with a lot of good benefits. And this is the struggle in life. What do you do when you're working a job that is giving you security and now you have to decide, holy crap, how do I start my life over with a different job? Because you might think this is my job forever. Right? And that sucks. Like that sucks that AB and all these people are in a position where they're coming to work. Their rent is on the line now. Now his team is coming into work. They're not his friends. They're your like colleagues. And this is what's so dangerous about this situation is like, People's rent is online. People's healthcare is on the line. Like people's livelihood is on the line. If they don't agree with their boss, like this is difficult. This is a difficult position to be in. Yeah, this is hard. This is, oh man. <sighs> yeah, this is really difficult. I, my heart goes out to them. I look, Ethan, I think could just use some good therapy and he'd be fine. If he could get a really good therapist to help him deconstruct these feelings, have a space to lash out that in, a, in a way that ended up being healthy in the long run because he wouldn't have to lash out anymore, it could be great. But at this point, and since October 7th, Ethan has, in my mind, he's just crossed the line way too many times in terms of professionalism, in terms of boundaries. You know, I'd really love to see Ethan get out of this in a more healthy way. I would. I would love to see Ethan be healthy. I'd love to see the team stay. I'd love to see AB feel safe at work. I'd love to see all of them feel comfortable again.
But that was like an uncomfortable exchange. That was unprofessional. That was personal. And look, this is kind of why I get why people don't want to mix politics and work or doesn't. But but the problem is some of our jobs are directly connected to these things. Yeah. Man, this is painful because I bet he's paying them well to live in L.A. too. Like love. He, he flew lo love out like love's not from America. He made love's ability to have a job and move here a thing because they're all fans. Right. All I think everyone Ethan hires on the team is like a fan which I'm not opposed to, by the way, but I think one of the dilemmas of hiring a group of fans is that you run into these issues. But let me tell you, it is very hard to find the right people to work with. Because if you have strangers who don't know the industry, it's also very difficult. It is truly the hardest thing to do is to know what to do as a content creator. Most content creators hire other content creators or fans to work with them because they know the industry. They know what to do. They watch the videos. It really sucks as a YouTuber, that's probably your best bet is to find somebody who already watches the content. But if you just hired a random editor who has no clue about YouTube, like imagine a complete normie who has never watched a TikTok and you try to ask them, okay, can you edit and make me a TikTok? They won't know what to do. So the dilemma here is like, how do you, how do you not hire a fan in a world where who else would be, who else would know YouTube? You know, it's difficult. It's definitely difficult. I will say it's one of the hardest things that I've even had to figure out where I'd rather just work alone. But yeah, like who else are you supposed to hire except people in your own audience or people who are in someone else's audience? It's difficult. Yeah, but I, oh, they're just like in the most awkward. I wonder if they have like a, an ability to leave with like a cushion maybe. But God, can you imagine? He's paying them enough to live in LA. So yeah, how would they even replace that income? What job could they get? I guess they could go into similar jobs in the industry. It's hard because they're in such a niche industry as it is. Damn. Like, think about all those shows like um, the, I was, uh, what's his name? Like Howard Stern or somebody, right? They've been working in the industry for years. I, I'm sure, you know, Joe Rogan and his people, I'm sure they've been with him for years at this point. So it's kind of hard. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know any YouTuber who doesn't hire people they know, like you want to talk about nepotism, but it's really just like, that's what networking is. Yeah. They need better boundaries. I agree with that. I think that's what they need to. I think they need better boundaries and Ethan needs to go to therapy. He has got to talk to somebody about his, like his emotions. He has got to talk to a professional because he can't keep taking it out on his team, especially since ideally they don't keep their job and they don't make it work. Ideally they don't stay together for another 10 years, but you got to go to therapy. It's just inappropriate. And God knows if this is happening in public on camera, how angry is Ethan in private? How angry is he in private? And this is why I said earlier when Trump made his speech, do not let anger rule your life. It's okay to be angry because that's a good emotion. But if you let anger be your motivator, anger to guide you through life, you will be angry at all points of your day. Do not let the world make you angry. When you, it comes down to you and your relationship with it. Ethan is allowing the world to make him an angry person. When Ethan doesn't have to do that, let it go. Let it go. Because God knows he could be taking that anger home to his kids. And I think Ethan has always been a great dad. So I'd like to hope that's not happening. But work impacts parents and parents, parents will be stressed. And sometimes they take it out on kids. It's a whole cycle. I'm not saying Ethan's doing that. I've always perceived Ethan as a good dad. Always. I've always perceived him as somebody who loves his kids. But, you know, when your dad come home, comes home angry from work and stressed, like kids pick up on that. They really do. Life is a fool.